A tragic ending to share with you. This morning, Baltimore County's police chief offered her condolences after the deaths of two young girls. She also promised assistance in multiple ongoing investigations. They were found shot along with their father, a former Baltimore County police officer, and his alleged accomplice, who was a police sergeant. WJZ stays on the story. Investigator Mike Halgren has all the details on how this heartbreaking story unfolded. Mike. It is heartbreaking, Tim and Lynn. Police say they were closing in on that SUV with Sergeant Tia Bynum behind the wheel that she was driving erratically. This was about a mile from the Pennsylvania border uh, in Washington County, Maryland. All four bodies have now been taken to the medical examiner's office in Baltimore. The search for six and seven year old sisters, Gianna and Amina Vicosa, ended in tragedy in Western Maryland. Shortly after Pennsylvania State Police started pursuing the carjacked SUV they were riding in with lights and sirens activated. It veered off the road in Smithsburg, and police were unable to make contact with anyone inside. Upon approach of the vehicle, they found uh, multiple fatalities inside the vehicle. Police say the girls were in the back seat with their father, Robert Vacosa, a recently fired Baltimore County police officer who abducted them. Vacosa's friend, Tia Bynum, a sergeant with the Baltimore County Police Department, was in the driver's seat. All four of them had been shot in what Maryland State Police describe as a murder suicide. The poor girls, like, they look so young, didn't get a chance to live, you know, that's. And that's by somebody who they trust, they father. A tragic end to a crime spree that began days earlier in York, Pennsylvania. When police say Vacosa assaulted his estranged wife at her home, police say Bynum helped him elude authorities. This morning, Baltimore County's police chief tweeted, the tragedy that occurred yesterday was beyond horrific. This was a selfish and senseless act of violence that has shaken us to our very core. And a vigil has been scheduled for this evening at 7 o'clock in York County, Pennsylvania, outside the home where those little girls lived with their mom. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Stay with WJZ for continuing coverage. We will provide updates for you on air, online at WJZ.com, and streaming on CBSN.